Hey everyone, this is Angela from Bake It With Love and we're going to make our banana peanut butter cookies today. These cookies are so fabulous and I love to take them when I'm taking like an assortment of cookies so that I have something maybe a little bit healthier that someone would enjoy over, you know, really fatty chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cookies. Also when like my daughter bugs and bags for cookies sometimes, these I don't mind letting her have these or our other uh, banana chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. I'll link those in at the end. They're also a great cookie for kids to have. That's not the, you know, it's definitely not the worst thing they could eat as a, as a dessert. So we're going to start out with creaming our brown sugar and butter together. And we're using a half a cup of butter or one stick softened at room temperature, as well as a half a cup of brown sugar. Make sure that it is packed though. Um, be sure to forgive any background noises coming through. We've got a new kitten and he is definitely not used to being alone. If I walk out of a room, he freaks out. So um, also, if I don't always show it or always say it, do scrape down, like when you're creaming your sugar and your butter and your wet ingredients when you're making your cookie dough, scrape everything back down into the center. And then next we're going to add one egg and a half a cup of creamy peanut butter for these. You can obviously, you can use any peanut butter you want, uh, almond butter, uh, chunky peanut butter. <laughs> this is peanut butter with honey in it. They're all going to work beautifully. It's just for the smooth cookies that we did. And for what you see at the beginning there, they are made with creamy peanut butter. Next, we'll be adding in our vanilla extract. You can also use almond if you want. It works really, really well. Uh, but we're gonna use a fairly large quantity, a tablespoon, and don't be shy with it. It can overflow, it's not a big deal. You can eyeball it, but know that you need a pretty generous amount of your vanilla extract today. And then we're gonna use about a cup of mashed bananas, uh, two medium, or one large, I, I use two in this. Um, if you love banana, go with more. Uh, it'll still work, you just might have to bake it a little bit longer. Now once you've gotten your extract and your banana added, we're gonna mix that really, really well before we start adding uh, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and I totally advocate fresh nutmeg. If you don't have nutmeg in the house, you need it. They are so much better when you grind them fresh. And then also a teaspoon of baking powder and then you'll combine all that again and we'll start adding in our flour. Okay and while this is mixing make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees and that you line a baking sheet with your parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper and you do have Silpat use that. Uh, you can also use a non-stick spray coating. That works too. But I love parchment paper because it means I pull that parchment paper off and my, my baking sheets are clean. Relatively, I'm still in that. I have to wash them anyway, but they're not that bad. I could throw a different batch of cookies on with a fresh piece of parchment paper and there would be no uh, transfer of flavors. Makes me happy. And next we'll be adding our flour and you just want to mix that until it's just combined into your, your cookie dough. Um, just so that the flour is incorporated. Again, scrape down the sides if you need to. Uh, two and a half cups of flour. Start with two cups and see if your consistency is okay. This is where at two, two and a quarter cups, if your batter looks pretty thick, you might want to go ahead and bake off a few cookies to test out and see how well they uh, hold their shape. Okay, as you'll see, I'm going to add some more flour here to adjust my consistency of my cookie dough. I need it a little bit firmer because this is not chilled. We're going to go straight into the oven. And uh, when I do that, when I get it on the baking sheets, I'm going to do um, typically I'd say roll it, but it's pretty sticky. So I just kind of dropped it and shaped it with my spoon a little bit, uh, about an inch, inch and a half size balls, uh, heaping teaspoon, tablespoonful, you know, your normal standard spoons. Just go ahead and use that. And then I get my fork wet so that it doesn't stick to my cookie and do a crisscross pattern on the top. And I'm going to sprinkle these with some coarse sugar before baking. And if you, uh, if you can't find the coarse sugar like in the normal sugar aisle, there's also in the cake decorating the cookie sprinkles and stuff like that, you'll sometimes see the color granules and they typically have the clear ones too. Those work just as well. There you go. They're ready to go in the oven now. I'm going to bake these for 8 to 10 minutes. Um, I, they're pretty consistently that 8 to 10 minutes. You don't really have to check them too much. And then they'll be done. 8 to 10 minutes. This makes about two and a half dozen cookies. So I hope you try these out real soon. I just hope you really enjoy them. And if you did like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and come see us again soon. We'll be uploading videos every day. Thanks for watching.